Yesterday, while I was editing my video on SD 3.5, I quickly learned that there were FP8 and GGUF models available now. As always, I'm going to leave a link in the description below on where you can get all the models. I created this Google Doc to put everything in one place. So we have the original large model here, the original scaled FP8, which is 14.9. However, now on Civitai, there is one that's 7.59 gigabytes which I'm going to show you in a second. There's also a turbo variant, and we also have our guff models. Over at Civitai, you see 3.5 large and 3.5 turbo, 7.59 gigabytes. You could download this into your checkpoints folder. However, you'll need to load the VAE, which I'll show you in a second. And for the guff models, shout out to City96. He's the goat of converting these into quantized models. He's super quick. I remember he was one of the first to do the flux ones as well. And you'll see that there are only Q4, Q5, and Q8 models. I've only tested this Q4 and this Q8 at the moment, but you see the file sizes here. So here's the workflow here, very similar to the previous video that I just did. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to watch that one for this to make any sense. But really the only thing you have to do here, add the load VAE node. So if I were to load this here, we can double click onto the workspace and put load VAE. You see it there. Of course, you need the VAE for SD 3.5. Put it in your VAE folder and everything else is the same. For the GUF models, you want this node unit loader GGUF. You will have to put that into your unit folder. So under your main comfy UI folder, go into models and find unit. This is where you want to put those guff models, okay? Once you have the model node loaded, you just have to connect it to model sampling SD3. Now in terms of inference speed, I only tested one size with these settings here. For the full F16, I was getting a minute 47 seconds. The FP8 model, one minute 21. The Q8 model, one minute 26. Q4, one minute 27. Yes, I know I need a new graphics card, but hey, this is what I have, all right? <laughs> now I didn't test the turbo models, but obviously because you're only using four steps, it's gonna be pretty quick. For my card between these four, it was eight to 12 seconds, so not a huge deal. If you got a 30, 90, 40, 90, you'll be flying. I didn't do a lot of visual examples like I normally do because it's very similar to Flux. You'll find FP8 and Q8 in general will typically look very similar to the full model. Well, Q4 tends to stray away from the original model more than the others. In this case, we see the Q8 didn't pick up the glowing eyes, but we do see a slight decrease in quality on the Q4, whereas Q8 and FP8 in terms of quality matches the F16 model. Now for me, because of the file size, the FP8 is perfect and the GUF models will come in super handy once there's control net and IP adapters out, which I heard, I think IP adapter for SD 3.5 may be out in a week or two. Don't quote me on that. Let me know in the comments below what kind of speeds you're getting with these models and what your GPU is. Now, in case you haven't seen that SD 3.5 video, make sure to check it out right here. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.